that's right. Okay, so I'm here tonight with Mark. Hey, Michelle. How you hey. doing? Great. Good. We're at Marshall's Steakhouse. Oh my gosh, look at all the people up here. This is like a destination. That's it. Yep. So tell me what you know about this place. Why do uh, you love it? What makes it well, special? Well, Randall is a very unique individual. Yes. And he is very creative, and I would say he's uh, somewhat of a visionary. He's not Elon Musk visionary. Thank he goodness. Is, yeah, but he's a visionary. Yes. And uh, he just took an old metal building that uh, was somewhere up in Arkansas, went up there, took it down, and uh, brought it here, assembled it, bought him a big saw, and made all his own tables, all of his own wood. Everything is... Uh, it's all on premises, and it's a, you know, it's, I tell you what's neat is I was walking in tonight with my wife and some of my friends, and I thought, you know, it's kind of unique how we bought, bought North Mississippi wealth and middle income into a very wholesome, fun atmosphere where you can play cornhole out front, you got live music, you got just a deep outdoor atmosphere while you hang out and wait for your table. Instead of sitting in a crummy little area like most restaurants, you have a lot to see and do and hang out. And uh, this place just got a lot of charm. And uh, my favorite waitress, waitress is Renee. Of course it is. She's been with uh, 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 Randall from the very beginning. And she's a neat lady. and. Uh, and her kids work here. Her, yeah, Bailey, her older daughter, uh, daughter, and her yeah. son. I met them Why tonight. Why did you meet her son? Yes, I interviewed her and I met her kids, and they're just as charming as Renee she is. Renee is just sweet. I know. She doesn't get rattled. She's awesome. She's beautiful inside and outside. Of yes. Her. One of my favorite characteristics of a woman to yeah. be beautiful inside She's and outside. She's lovely. Yeah. So anyway, this is just a neat place. I uh, come here, good food, good atmosphere. Uh, it's just, life is good down here in North And Mississippi. it's, and, I mean, it's kind of off the beaten path, out, out, like, I don't know this area that well, but I feel like we're kind of just out somewhere. It's not like it's right down the street from wherever you are. Yeah. You have to well, drive to get here. You have to drive to get here. It is a destination place, but I would say this concept, that Randall has is uh, extremely unique. And uh, for a man that's not in the restaurant business, he has an extremely successful business. Yes. And, uh, you know, I invested money into it at the very beginning, and uh, I was a little nervous, but after about a year of being here, he's killing it. And man, like, what restaurant does anyone go to where the owner comes in every night and walks around and talks to everyone? Like, maybe for the first month I, when you open, but every night? I have a, I have a friend of mine who lives in Vegas now. He's made a ton of money, and he's always wanted to own his own restaurant and meet and greet. And I say, like, yeah, that's cool. But Randall does it. Randall yeah. gets up. He knows everybody. He's just very personal, and uh, if your stuff's not right, Randall's on it like a fat rat on a Cheeto. He'll be over to fix it. He a wants fat it. rat on a Cheeto. Have you ever seen a fat rat I on a Cheeto? I have never heard that expression. Oh, they just, <laughs> and that's Randall. He's all over it. He wants everyone so to come here and have a big time and enjoy yeah. their dinner. And, um, you know, he really cares. He does care. Randall's just a, a, a very sincere, just makes st stuff happen. Great guy. Yeah. We need more Americans like him. I agree. And I totally agree that he is a visionary. He is. He sees it and he creates it and there are no obstacles in his mind or in the world. And Every problem has got a solution. Yeah. It's, we all got problems. Most people don't have solutions to go with them. Right. And Randall does, and uh, you know, it's exciting to see him make shit happen. What's your favorite thing to eat here? 
Do you have something or do you change it up all the time? I always eat the same type thing every day. You Everywhere do? I go. I, yeah, <laughs> I eat the ribeye. Just, okay, I yeah. Eat ribeye. That's just my deal. Uh, if I go to a Mexican restaurant, it's chicken fajitas. You know, I just... And here it's the ribeye. Yeah. Over the filet. Yeah. Okay. Like Maybe I'll flavor. have that tomorrow. Yeah. Filet's tender. But it doesn't have as much I flavor. like the fat in a ribeye. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah I totally yeah, get that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the flavor's where the fat is. And the fat's where the flavor is. Right. I don't know which one. I don't know if it matters. No, okay. But it's good. And here comes the man himself. Okay. How are we doing up He's here? all dressed up. Well, that's a, that's a rare occasion. <laughs> Usually at weddings and funerals only. How was the father-daughter?